Hey, I'm Kev Kerr, Mr. Go. Welcome back to Supercross 2, where Nando found something last time out in Anaheim. Did not find a top 10 result, but he's he's working on it. He's getting there. And we're working on the race settings as well, as it took two and a quarter hours to record that last episode. So we're kind of turning this down a bit. As realistic, normally it's 20 minutes long, but with the three main events is around 35 minutes, closer to 40 minutes in total. A bit too long. So, you might have it down to medium. Short is just ridiculously short. We're not doing that. But we'll have it down to medium again as the default race length now. Nothing else will change. As you can see, we've got the real thing. We're having all the sessions, even though we don't really do qualify. It's just the heats, last chance qualifiers at the moment and the main events. Then realistic, duty, advanced physics, joint brace off, manual rider right, manual transmission, off rewinds, off the flow aids, which help you tackle the jumps of the track and take advantage of the best lines to take over the jumps and the whoop sections and the best way to just ride the tracks. So with that out the way, let's head to training has we could end up actually finishing the basic training as we've got the reflexes and the landings to do. Let's continue exploring the intermediate layout training. So reflexes are not good. How about we do some scrubbing? Actually, we don't really do scrubbing. Let's do the landing. So we go, we've got three jumps in it's like. We've only got a good, no, two jumps. Got an excellent. So we're halfway there already, but we want a couple of perfects. Have we got nothing? What the hell? There we go, there's a perfect. See, this is when we should be kind of launching. Oh, what the hell? We've done it again. Oh, ain't it good? See, this should have been a start on the previous one. Oh, perfect. Another one. Yes. Nailed it. So you can't even do that on the basic layout, but on the intermediate, yeah, we just nail the landing straight away. As by the time of the first 10 times you complete the first phase of this training, in-air bike control has improved. I guess that kind of makes sense. And I would have thought that would be more for the scrubbing. Like, that would improve the in-air control. I wonder what scrubbing's going to improve then. You know, maybe you're accelerating. Who knows? Has got some rivalries to do. Joshua Grant is our main rival in it, so what the hell? Oh no, it's Henry Miller. Henry Miller? We've barely seen him. Let's look at guys who we've actually been battling and have a bit of a rivalry with, does Nando. So Cooper Webb, where's he? Here he is. We've got Vince Freeze, we've got Cole Seeley as well. We've got Blake Baggett, Marvis Marvin. Yeah, let's go for the Frenchman. So here goes Nando revving it up. Where's Marvin? Oh, it must be all... Oh, he's all the way on the right-hand side. So that all can take that inside turn. Lovely. Oh, yes. That is how you take those sections. Oh, my God. He lands on the tabletop as well. God, this Suzuki's definitely been improved. There's no... That's hitting the wall. Oh, just got away with it. But lucky he slowed down there because he kind of improved that next section. I just noticed we're on the basic layout as well. I thought we were permanently on the intermediate layout from now on. Obviously not. It's all just about the answer that. As well as Marvin. 6.18 seconds back. Bloody hell. Are we definitely doing this on 450s? Guessing we are. That's all, yep. Yeah, definitely are doing it on 450s. Bit of stutter there as well in the air. I wonder why. And again there as well. A bit of slow down in the air. I'm not sure if that's Milestone's version of bullet time, but a bit inconvenient. It's all oh, can't quite make it. As uh, this has been surprisingly easy. Do some show time. I guess almost falling off your bike is show time for Nando at the moment. As uh, he's ahead by one and a half seconds. That rivalry has been crushed. We'll never see them, you know, tackle each other again for the next few races. 
of course. So here's Nando Revenue alongside Marvis Marvin in the first heat as we get underway for three minutes now. There's a couple of laps. So it's more like a last chance qualifier now, these heat races, or what they've been proving is Marvin gets punted wide. I told you, they're not going to be, you know, touching each other again after the rivalry's been crushed. As Nando takes the lead. Oh, massive jump. Probably should have scrubbed then. So there you go, you remembered it for the next jump. Bit wide though. As long as he made it. Oh, not quite. He holds the lead. And Justin Barsh, you've got Brandon up there, you've got Scott Champion as well. Being a champion, oh, he's down to fourth now behind Dean Wilson. Nando don't hear, it's okay. As we end the first lap, Nando ruled in the roost. Might like these shorter races as well, because I think it's... And the long races as well, up to 20 minutes. He's used to... 20 minutes at most. But also in Houston last time, well not Houston, Anaheim. Being a triple crown event as Nando lands. He tries to land on the Oakley sign. I don't think he realises that's not on the course. But of course he's back with Dean Wilson now. Plus. What was I saying? In Anaheim. I don't know why I said plus there. As he takes the lead back from Justin Barsha. So there we go, over the whip section. Oh, you can ride that berm quite high actually without scrubbing up. Or climbing up. Not a bike tends to do occasionally. So there you go, big ass. Scrub for the crowd. There's Dean Wilson. Oh, he doesn't quite take the lead. Let's run the penultimate app already. Told you, it's like a last chance qualifier now. By in Anaheim, we've had it up the time for all those main events. It was more than those 20 minutes plus of that. But it was... It's more like 30 minutes, I think. 35 minutes. Don't seem to... See, so, Nando, as I say, it should hopefully reduce the amount of time recording these to. Hopefully, this will take, say, half hour. Which it was more like with the 250s even on realistic. So, that's the aim. And short videos as well to digest a bit rather than 40 minutes or maybe down to 30, even, you know, 20, 25, where you can get out these last chance qualifiers. Which Nando is doing at the moment. He loves Arizona. Loves this Gendel circuit. A bit like Hillman previously. An old Supercross. Light Arizona as well. It's not as tight and tristy in some sections, this Arizona circuit, like it was previously. Now it's it is mainly just flat out massive jumps everywhere. Like that's considered a tight section on this course. Fantastic. You can see, suits Nando and the Suzuki brilliantly. Was rumours already that Nando might be looking elsewhere for his manufacturer needs. I know no one was really interested after the start to the season. Sickly KTM and has Farnham, which seem to be ruling the roost at the moment. Kazaki's damn good as well. There's Nando, he's going to win his first heat. On a 450 bike. As Nando wins by a second head of Marvin. He climbs back up to second head of Barsha. And then we've got Dean Wilson, Brandon, Tyler, Weston, Carl, and Malcolm Stewart making it for a head of Scott Champion. After a fantastic start down in 10th. Chad Reed down in 16th. After winning in Anaheim. What a surprise. That is waiting 14th as well. Justin Brayton on the Honda down in 18th. And that's the thing as well we get with the shorter format as well. The good guys can sometimes you know, power their way back up the field. Don't have that time to do it now. 
He finished down the order, so it should hopefully kind of be a bit more rounder with the results like we saw in the 250 class as well. But we'll see if Nando can grab his first top 10 finally on A450. So here goes Nando on the inside alongside Brayton, who seems to make it through from the last chance to qualify. And Anderson has to get underway for 10 minutes. Well, that's a couple of laps of fun. And Nando with a shocking start. Oh, he's been so good. Oh, but he dives it down the inside. Does he grab the hole? Shot? Not quite. And it's like Grant stole it. Where did he come from? Got Anderson up there as well. Along with Dean Wilson. Don't think he heard. It's okay. Then Eli Tomic. Seems to have dropped down behind Justin Barsha already. So you can see how beautiful the flow is around this circuit on these 450s. I thought it was good on the 250s, but he's down wonderful as well as Grant. He just appears from nowhere, doesn't he? Stolen the lead. Poor end to the whoop section. No, Nando takes it back. Can he hold on, though? As these last set of jumps can be up and down, and it looks like Grant has stolen it. We've got Anderson in third. Wilson, Tomic in fifth. Oh, I do love that first corner. It's a burn which he can actually ride through. Unlike most of them. That's now it's unlikely pair battling for the win. In Arizona. Grant and Nando. So Nando just... I'm just going to scrub and drift across you. You don't mind that, do you? Oh, and he's going to land on Grant as well. Oh, they're elbow to elbow, aren't they? Oh, but Nando's getting the better section, is he? Once again, Grant not finishing well. On a whoop section or a jump section. It's all a bit high from Nando. There you go, take less speed. No, that did not work. As I know, that's a scrubbing the goggles animation which they had it. It just looks like he's saluting, or he's just disappointed with himself, like shaking his head, like wiping his brow. Even though he's got a helmet on. He's already a quarter way through the race. Nando leading by 1.3 seconds. That's all, that's wide. Mega scrub, no, too scrubbed. No scrubs. We'll go back to that. TLC had good advice back in the day. There's Edo Tomic. Here for fourth. As you've seen, we haven't changed opponent difficulty, but just so much easier around, isn't it? Now there's already catching back up. There's all heavy landing. So Tomic down the inside. I'm not sure if that's gearing as well. We've got the long gear in. Seems to work around these type of calls. There's a Dean Wilson. Other. Nando, don't look to your left. Oh, Wilson's messed up. It's okay. It's Nando taking back for from Anderson. But look at Grant go. It's Nando looking down the inside of Tomic. Oh, Tomic holding the outside. Trying to hold the inside now. So Nando scrubbed, forgot to accelerate. Lucky to get away with that. Oh, but look at that ride through that corner. He's got the inside line on Eli. So Arundel by the handle by just makes it through. He's got Grant in front, being hounded now. By the 250 champ, who's finally coming an age on this Suzuki. For the upgraded Suzuki. Oh god. Nando. Nando, not the time to attack signs again. Keep forgetting to book that fair pist. As he's back down to fourth header, Chad Reed, who stuck through as well. Is that Carl Cunningham? No, this can't be. Carl Cunningham's down in 15th or 16th there. Nando down to fourth. No, it's Dean Wilson in the yellow. Of course it is, the Hasvana. It's 
There we go. That's how you want the scrub like the best. Crowd's loving it. As we approach halfway mark of the race. Oh, Nando wide. But well, this circuit is kind when you're a bit wide like that. Definitely see that as Nano really cleaning up to Anderson now. He's been passed by Tomic. It's on Nando, not trying to take down the monster signs. I love how quick the marshals always are at getting those replaced. As well, Reed landed on Nando. He sets a 103. Still Grant lead and ahead of Tomic. There's all Nando down the inside of Anderson. Anderson holding that inside line. Fernando takes it round the outside. Nicely done from the Suzuki. He's got his scrubs back. He's got his third place back. Now he's going to try and take his lead back. 3.5 behind Grant. So that's kind of in between that jump. But hasn't lost too much to Tomic. Got a wonderful launch off the corner as well. And now abysmal whoop section. Kind of like a rocking horse there, wasn't Nando? Once again, saluting to his fans or himself or whatever. Despite centre 104, still closing in on the top two and up to third. 2.6 Ryan Grant. Look at Chad Reed in fifth. Look at Nando drifting towards Mexico. Just doing all right though. Let's go mega scrub again. Definitely has improved his in air control now. 1.6 behind Grant. He's got Tomic all over him. And here comes Nando to make it a freeway. Probably shouldn't have said freeway. Nando's got distracted. No, again, it's at two. Why does it keep resetting us at two? Seriously, have you just got rid of one? I don't understand why that has not been fixed yet. Because it's such a blatant error, but so was that from Nando. He's down to fourth. God, his first top ten result, but frustrating. He's got the pace for more. And look at Devin. It's Kawasaki from nowhere. It's Nando taking that inside line. Respectful from those two. Nando with the massive scrubs. Got a crowd so happy about that. Another scrub as well from Nando. Two in a row. You can see getting it into first out the corners now. No, not quite again. There's a way of making that a tabletop. It's just not working for Nando, though. Thought it scrubbed the first jump again. Has he got three laps remaining, I think? Nando running out of time to catch back up to Anderson. But what a joy it is seeing him competitive. Felt a whole of a race for the first time. If it just becomes a pattern. No doubt he'll be launching himself up the championship as well. Where is he? 17th at the moment, isn't he? Battling and being the top 20. He battling and being the top 10 soon. If he continues performing like this. And catching Meiji on Anderson. So we go, not, not even with the run-up he can make that tabletop. 
It's so strange. He does a 102.7. It's just four seconds off the lead. Which Grant still holds at Atomic by half a second. Absolutely crazy how good Grant has been. And he's showing glimpses of it. But winning? Main event? Not so sure. There's always oh, flying, Nando. Got the scrub. So he's confirmed two to go. Oh, Nando catching. In fact, Anderson catching the top two as well. Could have a four way in the final lap. There's all Anderson all over the place. Lando down the inside. Oh, he's gone long again. That was there we go. Finally done it. Double, triple. 101.8. And that's what happens when you don't take the berm. As he's 2.4 behind Grant. He's just taken third from Anderson. Oh, can Nando grab it on the final lap? There's all. Tomic down. Grant with no rear blocker. Nando in the ascendancy. Flying on this Suzuki. Literally there. Joshua Grant. Nicker Boy's first. 450 win this season. So is Nando, his first 450 win ever. And no, terrible whoop section. He gets off the corner though. Well, he gets the run. But Grant's got to hold on. The first podium for Nando. Finally, as Grant wins by 2.6 seconds after 11 laps with Anderson in third, Tomic fourth, Brayton fifth. Dean Wilson, Chadry down the 7th in the end, and Cooper Webb, Marvin in ninth. Well, I'm to the Kawasaki down in 10th. Really bled positions on those final few laps. Then Barsha, Vince Freeze, Blake Baggett in 13th, Colsey in 14th, where he belongs. Then we've got Brock, Trickle down in 17th. And then they've got all the Suzuki's and Hondas at the back. Those three were phenomenal. They definitely were the stars of the night and earned a spot on the podium. And I was talking up the KTM's has Varnas beforehand. Kazaki's are decent as well. As Tomic's up to fourth, Miskin up to third, and Anderson leading now ahead of Trickle as he had four different winners for the first four events of the season. Joshua Grant up five places to sit for head of Baggett. Justin Barsha down to 10th, and look at Nando up four places to 13th. But he's 21 points behind the top 10. He's got some work to do. And how far back is he of the leaders? Oh, he's only 40 points back. He's got half the points of Anderson. I thought it'd be a bigger gap. He might still have a chance. You never know if he can get on a good run. And he's head of Cooper Webb, more importantly. He's in 14th now. Looking further down, Carl Cunningham in double figures. Last of them in 24th. Uh, still three riders yet to score this season. As finally Nando's reputation and Suzuki's repaired a bit. And they'd be right back at it challenging riders on the Monday. Then training on the Wednesday, mixing up a bit. And then before we go to Oakland, maybe some promo. As it'd be round five of the season in Western America. And finally Nando's broken through and grabbed not just a top 10 but a podium as well. Can he go one better? next time. Stand for watching, we'll find out then.